What's up guys, welcome back to our Destiny 2 Season of the Worthy video and today's vid, I'm going to be going over the SSCQC-12, which is the 7th Seraph Shotgun. Now, how to obtain this weapon, first you have to get it from the Season of the Worthy Season Pass first, and then you're actually able to get it, get it to drop from other activities. So this falls into the lightweight frame of shotgun, and that also goes with something like Parcel of Stardust, which I find is very popular in the kinetic slot on shotguns. And I'll tell you what, the thing with lightweight frame shotguns is that I feel like they're coming up in both PvE and PvP. First up, going over PvE. Now, I'm going to whip out the perk set here. I can't 100% say this is going to be something that's the best, because I feel like one of the better perks to have on a shotgun is something like 1-2 Punch, and you're able to pair it with something like... On the Titan, Worm God Caress. On the Warlock, Winter's Guile. On the Hunter, you can use Liar's Handshake and be able to put out massive amounts of damage with 1-2 Punch. Now, I cannot exclude that it does come with the perk Vorpal Weapon, which gives you more damage to bosses and mini-bosses. Or something like Trench Barrel, which Trench Barrel isn't awful. It's just one of those things where they nerfed it enough to where people didn't want to use it anymore. So... Let's go through here and look at the perks. Obviously, barrel-wise, you're either going to want rifle barrel or full choke. I don't care about the other barrels. Everyone's like, oh, you're going to want like this barrel because stability. Nah, nah. You want range. You want a, every time on a shotgun, you want range or bullet spread. And I would say even something like small bore wouldn't be horrible. Yes, it spreads out your buckshot more, but also you do get a little more range. So, And I feel like it doesn't really matter, matter barrel-wise considering you're going to be up in the enemy's face anyway. But, going over the magazine, uh, this is an interesting choice just because of the perks that you get after this in the trait columns here. So, uh, obviously you have Assault Mag, which basically increases your fire rate, which is pretty freaking solid. Uh, you know, even something like Accurized Rounds wouldn't be bad just because you get to increase the range, but maybe something like a Pendant Mag or extended mag would be good being able to increase your mag size because if you look at trait com number one you do have auto loading holster which means you put the weapon back and automatically reloads itself which i find would probably be the best perk there you do have lead from gold which you collect heavy ammo and you get special ammo but i feel like you're going to be collecting special ammo regardless especially if you have special ammo finders so it's not really a big deal to me but I would say auto loading holster is probably your best bet there. And then trade column number two, you have Vorpal Weapon and Trench Barrel. Those are probably your two best options there. Uh, again, this probably isn't the best shotgun for PvE considering there are others out there. But here's my point with the lightweight frame uh, archetype comment that I made. I have a Hawthorne's Field Forward shotgun with full auto and one-two punch. And it is one of the best shotguns that I have used. So keep that in mind when it comes to that just because, well... I feel like all the other shotguns that come with 1-2 Punch are aggressive frame, and they fire really, really slow, and the handling is really, really low, and you lose out on some damage on the melee, which I feel like if you're up close with a shotgun anyway, you're going to be able to do the, almost the same amount of damage, so that's kind of my thought there. Now, going over PvP, this is very interesting, because I find the shotgun is being used a lot in PvP, and there's a few reasons for that. Um, I see people using Parcel of Stardust as well. Uh, just because it's a lightweight frame shotgun, and for some reason those are performing very well in the current sandbox, but uh, going over the perk set, barrel-wise, you want rifle barrel full choke. Those have always been the best two barrels out of that. Magazine-wise, accurized rounds. 100%, you want that range. Now, interestingly enough, in trade column number one, you do have the option of quick draw, which basically gives you, you know, you're able to whip up the shotgun faster and get a mini version of snapshot. Increases your handling, essentially. And you have a slide shot, which is very nice. So when you slide, it loads a shell. You get more range on that. So for, I, I like quick draw on shotguns. Like, it doesn't matter what type of shotgun it is. I like quick draw on shotguns just because it makes them feel snappier. Uh, but I also do have a parcel Stardust with slide shot. So I would choose the one that you're comfortable with. But when it comes to trait, column number two, highly recommend Vorpal Weapon. Reason being is that you can take down supers a lot easier with Vorpal Weapon on and... All the other, all the other perks there, don't really matter for PvP. I mean, you can do snapshot, maybe do like um, slide shot and slide shot and snapshot. That those two would be together, and then do quick draw and vorpal weapon as your combos. But again, I would say quick draw and vorpal weapon would be your best trait perks to have. Now the performance part for me, obviously with the lightweight frame, you do have to be a little bit closer with this shotgun. But I just feel like the consistency with it is very, very good, especially at a good especially at a good range. For some reason, 
you can compare it to something like Dust Rock, even though it technically has, you know, it shoots faster, which means it has, quote unquote, less damage. I don't know what it is about the shotgun, man. It just feels really, really good. And I would just recommend getting, you know, the recommended God roll that I said and testing it out. I feel like you won't be disappointed. Just quickly going over Gambit, as I said, there's not really a good PvE role, and on the PvP side of Gambit, you had to be up close, which means you have to run basically all the way across the map to get to the enemy, and people end up using rockets and machine guns and linear fusions and snipers, and so by the time you even get there, you're probably going to be dead anyway, so I would just stick with PvP, a PvP role on this thing and using it in the Crucible, no other activities. My last thought would be, if you want to use this thing in PvE, make sure you get like my recommended PVE role, like I said, just because it can spawn the Warmind cells, and if you have a good Warmind cell build, then that can come in handy. That's the only thing that I can think of. But overall, I do really like to shotgun for PvP, and I highly recommend testing it out. All right, guys, looks like we're at the end of the video. Just wanted to cover three things with you. Number one, about support. If you're looking for the number one best way to support me, there's a link below that'll take you to a four minute video that I made a while ago. If you wanna go watch that, that'd be awesome. If not, it's definitely not gonna hurt my feelings. You can also subscribe to the channel, like this video, share this video, follow me on social media with the links below, and all that great jazz. Number two, regarding social media, I have a Facebook page, Twitter, Instagram, Discord, and and a few others. If you would like to keep up to date on Destiny 2 related content, be sure to use those links below to find me on those platforms. And number three, going over the clan, if you're looking to join my clan, we have some spots open uh, on all platforms. We're looking for active players and community members in the Destiny community. And typically we like to play casual PvE and PvP a majority of the time. I'm definitely all about that solo grind, but I'm willing to definitely play with people in the community, like definitely willing to do that. If you're looking to join, there's a link to the clan page on the Bungie.net site below. And all you have to do is request to join and I'll approve it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. We'll catch you next time.